All right, here in the kitchen with Buff Mom, we're gonna be making a slow cooker recipe today. It's gonna to be bacon jam. It is an awesome condiment that you can put on all kinds of stuff and it's really easy. So, Buff Mom, what are we working with here today? We have got 12 slices of thick pork bacon and we've got five cloves of garlic that we are gonna chop one large red onion that we will chop. We're gonna go ahead and cook these up real quick. Nice, so we're gonna be cooking those up and what are the ingredients, what are the other ingredients that we're gonna be working with? We've got uh, a little salt and pepper to taste, we've got brown sugar, balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and some pure maple syrup. And the last ingredient, one of our favorites, every buff dude or girl can't go without, is coffee. Coffee. That's right. She almost forgot it. I almost forgot. What's wrong with her? <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're going to be sauteing those onions and cooking the bacon. Then we're going to move on to our next step. We're one step closer to that bacon jam. Yeah. Okay, so the first step is underway. What we went ahead and did is we took those 12 pieces of bacon, we thinly sliced them, and we've been cooking them up. They're just about crispy, so we're ready to transfer them off the stovetop and onto a plate. What we're gonna do with the fat in the pan is pour it into a bowl. A nice, we have a nice thick bowl here where it won't hurt that it's this hot. We're gonna leave just a slight coating in the pan. Very, very, very little bit, maybe a teaspoon. And now we're gonna add the onions and the garlic that we coarsely chopped up. It took about 10 minutes of cooking for the bacon, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have the onions and garlic cook about for five minutes now. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We are ready for the next step. What's it gonna be, Buff Mom? Okay, we are adding our brown sugar. This is a quarter cup. We are going to add the coffee, which is three quarters of a cup. We are going to add a half a cup of apple cider vinegar and turn up the heat just a little because we want it to start, um, we want to bring it to a boil. And then I need to measure out a quarter cup of maple syrup. So this will just take a second. And you may be going bacon, brown sugar, maple syrup. Mm. What are the macros going to be on this? This is way too fatty, way too much sugar. Hey, the great thing is, this is jam. It's going to be a condiment. You don't have to add that much to whatever you're going to be adding it to. You know, just, it's all in moderation. You can't, you can't just eat protein. You can't just eat food which tastes like cardboard. Feel free to have a little bit of this. And like I said, take it moderately. You don't got to dump the whole jar on your plate. Just have a little bit of the time. All right, we have all our ingredients mixed in, and we're just gonna go ahead and cook this until we bring it to a boil. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be stirring it a little bit just to make sure nothing sticks to the bottom of the pan. All right, it's boiling. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna transfer the bacon back to the pan. Very carefully, again, very hot, boiling. Don't splash yourself. Stir that bacon in. And now that it's back in the pan, we're just going to give it one last big stir. And now we're ready to put it all into the slow cooker. We're going to have a slow cooker on high. And we're going to cook it uncovered for four hours. One step closer to that delicious bacon jam. And we went ahead and had our slow cooker on high from the very beginning. So by the time that we transferred everything to the slow cooker, it was already nice and hot because it's boiling and we want the food to continue to be hot through the duration of the four hours. So now we sit and wait. See you back in 240 minutes. Yeah. All right, so it's been four hours and we're ready to move on to the next step. The bacon jam is smelling delicious. It looks delicious. So what is our next step going to be, Buff Mom? Well, the next step is turning this off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add that one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar and just a dash of salt and pepper. Drizzle that over there. And as you can see, it's still quite chunky. So we are going to use our immersion blender and blend it up.
All right, there we go. We went ahead and we put the bacon jam in the jar and we're topping off a sunny side up egg with a bagel and some of our bacon jam. We're about to try it out. See how it tastes. Mmm, that tastes delicious. In moderation, of course, because it is rather high in fats and carbohydrates. So, hope you enjoy this recipe. It's really good. I'm going to finish this off. And until next time, what do we say, Buff Mom? Stay buff. Yeah.